is very very weak. Yeah, I think so because I have no Wi-Fi connection right now. I have only uh, I am using my SIM card. It's okay, no problem. We can talk. Okay. Uh, so uh, I went for a trip to Italy. To Italy, it's about one thousand three hundred kilometers from here. It's quite far. So that trip was your first trip by plane. Uh, no, no, uh, it was uh, a trip by car, but uh, not uh, my car. Uh, we went together with, how to say, with my daughter's parents-in-law. With my daughter's parents-in-law by their car. So we went to Italy and because uh, it's a very, very long distance, uh, we decided to stay for a night in Austria, just in the middle of, of our trip. And uh, is, uh, is it your first time or for how many times? Uh, but what do you mean? Uh, Italy? Yeah, the trip of uh, Italy. Uh, it's not my first time uh, to go to Italy, but it's my first time uh, to, uh, how to say it, to visit Italy, to see uh, new places, because once I uh, drove uh, through Italy, but without visiting different places. So, yes, I can say that it's my first time uh, in a part uh, so-called Toscana. It's uh, the center of Italy, a very, very nice part of Italy. Okay. okay. And how about my picture? Could you see me uh, very well or the quality is very poor? Very well. This is a little strange because your uh, picture is uh, very high quality and uh, it's a problem with, uh, with, uh, with audio. Sometimes I can hear you, sometimes there are different... Uh, um, it's very, very strange uh, sounds. So. Okay. Okay. Actually, I'm now at in the hospital, so maybe the connection can be a little bit poor. Yeah, maybe as you can see, a lot yes. of bed is... Patients are sleeping. My uncle has a problem with her, with his stomach. Like, maybe his liver damaged and she's getting too much uh, pain in his uh, stomach. He's admitting for three days. Okay. Okay. And what about you? How did you spend the last days? Uh, it was not so good because my final exam routine has been published. Uh, it will be held uh, 15th of June. So I'm a little bit pressure and now finally my uncle got sick and I had to come here. You know, this district is far away from my district. I needed, you know, 12 hours to reach there by bus. Yes. So it's a little bit far. It's uh, very close to India. Ah. So I am uh, now a little bit pressure with studying, but I think after after my exam I'll be free. I will, uh, you know, practice English properly. I mean, my environment. I will make it like whatever I will do. I will just think in English, and also I will learn, you know, 
German, Spanish, uh, Russian, as I have wished to learn at least six or seven languages. So maybe we can talk uh, next, next time. Yes, and this is a very good idea to learn foreign languages. Uh, now I know, um, for me it's a little um, too late uh, to learn so many foreign languages, but uh, for instance, my Spanish, my Spanish was very, very useful in Italy because uh, they don't uh, want to talk English, to speak English. Uh, they speak uh, Italian, so sometimes uh, I had to use my uh, Spanish, and Spanish is uh, similar to Italian, so we can understand each other. Yeah, and I think Spanish is, uh, Spanish and Italian is, little bit similar in uh, like English, right? Maybe not like English. Uh, if you mean some words, yes. If you mean some words, yes. Um, and I think that many, many words are very similar to English words, but uh, Spanish and Italian are in the same group of languages and they are very similar. So if I see something uh, written, something written, it's easy for me to guess what uh, it means. Of course, when they speak, they speak in a different way than <laughs> Spanish people, so it's more difficult to understand, but it's okay. But if I speak Spanish, they understand me very well. Yeah, because why I'm saying that uh, Spanish and uh, Italian little bit uh, similar, a lot of English word come from the root of uh, Italy and Spanish too, maybe, but most of uh, old word come from Italy. Yes. Yes, and uh, and of course, uh, I met uh, maybe three or four persons, uh, and uh, they spoke English quite well. So it was a very nice conversation for me because I can use my English and they also were very happy that they uh, can uh, use their English as well. So we talked about Italy, about different things. Uh, Italians are very, very friendly people, especially for foreigners. So if you need uh, some help, uh, if you need to to know something, to ask them, they are very, very friendly. Okay, so tell me something about your uh, trip in Italy, like uh, what did you do? Uh, is there any uh, different food that you eat or any interesting things that you have done. Okay, so uh, we tried uh, to visit different places. Uh, I mean, uh, we visited uh, the sea, the sea. We visited mountains. Uh, we visited uh, old uh, Italian towns and villages. Uh, a lot of monuments. So it was very, very interesting. And of course, one day um, we went to mountains uh, and we was walking about uh, 10 kilometers, five hours. For me, it was very, very nice, of course. So, uh, and of course, I have some pictures. Maybe if you are at home, I'll send you those pictures because I don't want to do that now. 
because of the connection. Yes, because of the connection. But of course, there's no problem for me to send you some photos and to talk about that photos. Uh, it was uh, only, uh, how to say, it, a little part of Italy, but a very nice part of Italy. So I'm happy and uh, probably uh, in, June, in June, I'll go to Bulgaria, to Bulgaria and uh, I'm decided uh, to go by plane. So for the first time for me with by big plane, yes. And yeah. as you know, I'm a little afraid, but grandchildren forced me, forced me to go with them. So I, I decided, okay, yes, I'll go with you. Yeah. Actually, uh, I think we should try uh, every experience, like uh, traveling by air plane is kind of new experience. Yes. And of course, uh, traveling by plane, it's very, very convenient uh, at those days because uh, such uh, long uh, distances like one or more thousand kilometers, no problem for a plane. Yes, and a big problem for a car. Yeah, before a couple of years ago, it was very difficult to travel uh, airplane. But nowadays, people in in my country who has uh, a number of money, they travel, you know, from one city to another city uh, by plane. So it's getting easy. Our lifestyle get getting so easy day by day. Uh, here in Poland, uh, it's also easy to travel by plane. Of course, I wasn't interested because I was afraid of <laughs> planes. So uh, I wasn't interested, but I know that it's uh, very, very easy. And uh, sometimes you can you can have a very low price, so everything depends. Uh, sometimes the prices are very low, sometimes are very high. So if you are not in a hurry and if you decide uh, a little earlier, you can buy a ticket uh, for a quite good price. I mean, low price. Yes. And is there any system like in season uh, the price of food or ticket and all the things is high? Is there any off season and one season? Uh, I think yes. I think yes uh, because when there are a lot of tourists, <laughs> the prices are higher. That's normal. <laughs> So when it's a uh, summer, when there are a lot of tourists, the prices are higher. Sometimes much higher. Yeah. Wait a moment, please. Uh, my okay. phone is dying. I need to connect charger. Ah, oh, wait.
uh, when uh, when I was in Italy, uh, uh, there was a very nice weather. The temperature was about uh, 20, 25 degrees. Uh, only one day, only one day it was raining, but only one day. So it was a nice weather and we can visit, uh, we can walk. Uh, everything was very, very nice. But in the same time, here in Poland, there was a bad weather. It was cold. It was uh, raining. Uh, now, now there is a bad weather because it's about about nine degrees. It's quite cold, and it's raining. So now I stay home. Yeah, you know, here in Bangladesh, India, and Myanmar, uh, we we had a storm. It's called Mukha. So people were too much worried about that storm. Because, uh, the scientists they thought uh, it would be very dangerous for us, but uh, it it didn't hit us. Uh, that month that uh, scientists uh, thought. But I think three people uh, died, but uh, they are from Myanmar, not in our country. A lot of buildings, uh, trees, you know, yes. uh, destroyed, but not too much. Okay, so now there is a problem with audio, so I, I can hear you, I can't hear you, I can hear you, I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, now, now I think it's okay. Uh, the connection problem, I think. So, uh, yeah, sometimes the network is not available. Sometimes. Uh, when, uh, when will you be home? When will you uh, return? Maybe two or three days. Actually, I need if I can go tomorrow, it will be better for me because I have to study. So, but I have to stay here because, you know, there's no people here to take care of my uncle. So as far as uh, possible I, I will try to return my home maybe uh, two or three after two or three days I will go back to my home so probably the next week uh, you will be at home yeah definitely so uh, if I can I'll try to call you the next week yeah or after uh, uh, come back home, I will knock you that I am now at home. We can talk. OK, and I show you some photos from my trip. Yeah, obviously you may pick up some exciting photos for me. OK, OK, so thank you very much for the conversation. And I hope to see you soon as usual. Yeah, thank you for remembering me and I'm very happy and glad to talk to you. Hey, and of course, all the best to your uncle. All the best. I hope that everything will be OK soon. Yeah, thank you. So thanks and bye. Bye for now. Don't worry, bye. Okay.